My name is Gillian Booth and I'm an Operations Manager for Justice Services in South Lanarkshire Council. I have the privilege of managing South Lanarkshire's Unpaid Work Service, who are responsible for the management of the Meals at Home Service. It is my pleasure today, on behalf of South Lanarkshire Council, to extend our gratitude and appreciation to all those involved in the Meals at Home Service for children and families. When COVID-19 arrived this year, none of us quite knew what lay ahead, how it was going to affect us, or what we might have to do to support ourselves and those we provide services to. However, we quickly identified that some families in our communities needed extra support with food and meals during what we have become to know as lockdown. The idea of organising, making and distributing meals in South Lanarkshire is an aspirational plan given our area stretches from the boundaries of Glasgow all the way to the borders. However, with great speed, five hubs were created. They were Holy Cross High School in Hamilton, Catkin High School in Campus Lang, Calder Glen High School in East Kilbride, Carluke High School and Les Mahago High School. For 10 weeks, starting on the 13th of April until the 19th of June this year, there have been approximately 20,807 hot meals and desserts made and delivered to 112 families. For this, we want to say a special thank you to all those involved in the service and hubs. We have been very fortunate to have a very motivated and organised unpaid work team leader who was the programme manager for this service, working around the clock to design and plan. Along with the support of unpaid work coordinators, they developed and reviewed delivery routes, provided training for volunteers and worked with the hubs to make sure everyone who required a meal was accounted for. Within the hubs are both the lead hub coordinators and hub coordinators. We want to say a big thank you to you for your planning and management of the daily service, keeping everyone's spirits up and making the hubs busy but fun places to be part of. We also want to say a big thank you to the catering staff for the great quality and variety of food that was offered. So much care and attention has been put into the creation of dishes with creative options available at short notice. It's no easy task making so many meals each day and doing it well with choice, but you did it, so well done. We also want to recognise the work that the volunteer coordinators undertook to get together the amazing team of people who got the meals to where they needed to be. I want to now turn to our volunteer drivers. This includes staff from reception services, education, libraries, roads and transport, leisure and recreation services, building services, unpaid work supervisors and engineering services, to name but a few. We have had around a total of 55 volunteers rallying around whenever needed. Your can-do attitude came through and you embraced what was being asked of you, especially in uncertain times, putting others' needs before your own. Also, a big thank you to South Lanarkshire Fleet Services for providing safe, clean and reliable vehicles day in, day out to deliver meals. We would also like to thank Education Services for their facilities the cleaners and school caretakers who kept the buildings running like clockwork. We also had staff across the council services who supported contact with families, designed our logo, the forms and templates to support the communication of our service. A lot of creativity and thinking out of the box took place, which was always available in ready supply. Working closely with our adult services operations manager and colleagues who manage the care at home service has been invaluable, particularly in terms of guidance, support, sharing of ideas and resources. This was partnership working at its best. One of the things I've heard so much about is the strong and supportive working relationships that you've all developed as teams. The strength in being part of something that you've started together, solving problems as they arrive, adapting to change, and the satisfaction of seeing how your work benefits the people you have served has been immense. Families across South Lanarkshire have praised the service they've received and have come to look forward to seeing their volunteers delivering the meals. Here's what some families have said. You are an absolute godsend. Very good. Don't know what we would have done without meals being delivered. Excellent service and thank you. Really good and so grateful. Really happy with the meals? Kids have been eating and enjoying them. We've thoroughly enjoyed them. My son has autism and doesn't leave the house. And I would not have been able to get out to the shops. I don't know what I would have done. 
they have been a godsend. And this last comment encapsulates what you've done as a service. The service was brilliant. My daughter is quite a fussy eater and she has eaten a lot of the food that you brought in. She has been eating a lot better and the meals that you have given me have given me lots of ideas to keep her happy with food once the service stops. Just the very act of giving something warm and well intended has touched the lives of so many people. It is hard to quantify what that means, but I hope everyone involved in the service knows the value they have contributed is much more than their time, food and skills. You've also provided hope, reassurance and comfort that cannot be measured, but only felt. We have been on an incredible journey since the Meals at Home inception at the start of April this year. It has exceeded all expectations of what was possible and only been achievable through everyone's hard work and dedication. It is extremely important to us that everyone involved has the opportunity to hear this message. So please share this freely with your friends, family and work colleagues. It is a testament to each and every one of you that not only have you managed to cope brilliantly well through these extraordinary times, but that you were able to go above and beyond what was required for those people in your communities, always seeing the bigger picture, knowing it was hard at times, but doing the right thing. That is something you should be immensely proud of and remember in the times ahead as we try to adjust to our new normal ways of living. We wish you luck as you return to your services and day jobs and thank you once again.